Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I would like to apologize because I completely forgot to film my intro for this video because we got super excited to visit Chef Miho's place and try her amazing food. Chef Miho is a good friend of mine here in Tokyo and she hosts private dinners at her place in Moto Azebu. I'll link all her details below if you guys are interested in booking one of her private dinners. I have never tried private dining before and I thought it would be a great idea to share our experience. Especially now that we cannot really gather in big groups, I think private and intimate dining during this pandemic is a great alternative to enjoy and have dinner with friends and family. Her place can host around 6 people and she customizes the menu based on your preference or dietary requirements. She creates original and unique dishes that you'll never find or be able to order in other restaurants. Here's the 8 course menu that she created for us for this dinner. All of them sounds really good and I could not wait to try them. Chef Miho prepares the food by our table and it's mesmerizing to watch her and her awesome kitchen skills. Here she is preparing for our first course, dashi egg drop soup with 7 types of seaweed. Mm. That looks lovely. Thank you, Miho! Thank you! Mm. Oh, shit. oh my god, that's so good. Oh, oh, you yes. see Oh, it's really good. So good. Mmm! It really warms your tummy. It's so flavorful. Mm. Yeah. The spoon's not big enough. <laughs> no, but no, I have to pick it up. Caves that little bit. Oh, it's so nice. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Oh my good lord, that's so nice. Mmm. First course done, and now Miho is preparing the spring rolls with yuzu chicken, seasonal vegetables, and fresh herbs. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. You can see the flowers and everything. It's not just a regular spring roll. It's a beautiful spring roll. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So good. It's so fresh. Mm -hmm. Oh, It's good, isn't it? Mm. So babe, how are you liking the food so far? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? Always good. Always so good. The last dinner she made us was amazing. And I'm looking forward to the other courses. Our third course is this aubergine with sun-dried tomatoes, topped with mozzarella, rosemary, and nuts. So good. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. <Yay. laughs> mm, so there's like a mozzarella cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, rosemary. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Aubergine doesn't taste like this when I cook it. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm using a completely different vegetable. <laughs> mm. nice. The nuts with it is so oh, good. So Miho, are all the herbs you used today from your garden? Yes. Oh. Yes. Our fourth course was such a brilliant idea. It's a different take on the traditional tacos and she used shrimp crackers instead of taco shells and topped it with fresh ingredients. It was so, so, so good. It was quite fun. I didn't know that thing. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's really good. How fresh and lovely is that? Mmm. Is that avocado? Mmm. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mmm. So good. It really is. 
That's what I'm trying. <laughs> I've never tried the crackers like this yet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like making little tacos out of it. Right? Yeah. Mm, so good. Yeah. So For our mains, she prepared seared scallops with green peas puree, followed by pork tenderloin with berry sauce. The scallops were cooked perfectly and was so fresh. Miho, the green pea puree, one of the best things I've ever had in my life. Oh, thank you. So good. It's so fresh. So nice. So good. Do, do you buy the ingredients on the same day or like the day before? Uh, depends on the prep situation. Mm -hmm. so okay. Some of them buy a little bit earlier, sometimes no. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going on our sixth course. And it is a pork tenderloin with berry sauce. She's making it right now and it smells amazing. Yeah. Miho, you're so talented, seriously. She really is. It looks exceptional as well, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Ooh. She's swirling it around. With the saucy, saucy sauce. It's, it's, it's the patience. It's like everything is just time to perfection. Yeah. Like I'm an absolute lunatic if I'm stood in front of a stove. <laughs> Like, I have to get everything done as quickly as humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Alright, so the with the red wine <coughs> and How's your pork? I've never eaten pork this soft in my life. So good. Mmm! Mmm, it's good! The, the meat is so soft and the, and the berry sauce is really complementing the meat as well. For our seventh course, she has prepared a homemade pesto ramen noodles with fresh colorful tomatoes. Guys, this was such a surprise. It's like an explosion of fresh flavors in your mouth and I love how she incorporated other cuisines in her cooking as well. We're gonna try the cold noodle soup. Ooh. It's super so fresh and lovely, isn't it? It's so good. It's really fresh. I like this one. Mm. Again, tomatoes I make do not taste like this. It's so good. It's so original. <laughs> it's a it's like it's, it's, it's the meat Yeah. Yeah. Everything's good. I've never tried anything like this. No. Have you? It's the first time I've tried something so like this. Like the cold noodles, we have tried that, like the Japanese way, but mm. this is different. This is like Italian, mm. Japanese. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now we are on to the dessert. Here she is preparing our pongkan creme brulee. And honestly, I think this is the best creme brulee I've ever had in my life. The texture was fluffy and perfect, and it's not overwhelmingly sweet. I even asked for a second one, but unfortunately, she was only able to prepare one for each of us. You're gonna love that. Very, very good. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. That's so pretty. And it's not like super, super sweet. No. Yeah. I like the really creaminess, creamy creaminess of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of metal. Oh, this is so good. I've destroyed that. <laughs> like, like I have every other course, to be honest with you. Oh, this is so good. It's so light and fluffy and yeah, creamy. It and it's not heavy, right? Really yeah. Oh, Miho, I'm your biggest fan. It's uh, so good. It really is ridiculous. Honestly. Guys. Yeah, it's amazing. I love it. I, I, I mean, I'm, I've loved Grand Brunet since I was a kid. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. Like, oh. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. We've had the best dining experience and everything she prepared was amazing. Again, please check her details in the description down below if you guys are interested to book one of her dinners. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. See you guys again next week on my next video. Bye!